peony painting. Beautiful big blousy flowers, lovely they are. Um, they come in lots of different colours, obviously, and they sometimes have these little tiny petals in the in the middle or lots of big petals. So this is the one I'm going to be painting. So what I've done is I've done a trace down and I've actually used watercolour pencil. Let me zoom in so you can see that a bit better. I put watercolour pencil on the back of the tracing paper so I wouldn't have any ugly pencil marks to deal with. So bear that in mind for anything else that you want to trace. You can in fact use a watercolour pencil which is appropriate to the colour of the thing you're painting. Right, okay, let's get going. I've mixed some opera rose with a little bit of white because I want to get a pastel sort of feel to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go very thinly, I've just added more water to my brush, and I'm going to paint all over, basically. Being careful not to lose my um, tracing marks completely at this stage, just so I can see what's going on. I will deal with the background afterwards and I think we'll have something really zany for the background. So basically we're going to be using just one colour in varying intensities. I am using a number six brush for those of you who like to know these things. It's quite warm in here today so I'm going to have to keep my eye on things drying. Don't want things drying too quickly because there's going to be a fair bit of wet into wet on this. So cover the area quickly. Just get the paint on. Don't overwork it, especially around this middle section where we've got all these little petals that we're going to be dealing with in some more detail. So don't mess about, get it on. I didn't bother to wet the area first though because partly it's not that big an area and also I didn't want to lose my um, outline that is going to help me with my shading. Okay, that's great. Now what I'm going to do at this stage, I've just rinsed my brush off and some of these are fairly light so I'm just going to, in the tips, just pick a bit of the pigment off. I think it's easier to do it this way than to put the, the paint on carefully, not getting it wet on that area, if you know what I mean. So just rinsing your brush off, drying it off, and then you go back to the painting and it will lift it out. Sometimes these little inner petals have a, a yellowy tinge to them. So I think I might do that just to re, just to bring a bit of variation to it. Working quite quickly. See, you've already got some marks there to show this, the shape of these little curled up petals inside. Oh, and I've managed to smudge that in there. Never mind, we are going to be going very dark in the background. Right, having done that, I'm also going to, in some of the areas, I'm sorry I can't keep this in front of you at the same time, um, we have some highlights where the petals bend and turn. So I'm going to do the same thing on some of these. Just to lift a little bit out. I'm not too worried about any watermarks I might get. We'll leave those as happy little occurrences. Right, there we go. OK, 
Okay, I'm now going to go back in with the same mixture, the same colour, and I'm going to go to this petal up here and just drop some more of it onto the outside edge as it were and there are some a few sort of creases and lines so we'll do that and up here as well still fairly moist so it is a question of keeping your eye on the drying process. Put quite a lot on there, that should just sit happily. Happily, hopefully. A bit long here. And then there's a few here which I didn't get. Up here. Oops. Didn't want you to go there. Down there. And there's a darker patch here. I will also at um, a later stage, go in with some more intense pigment. By that I mean adding some more of the Opera Rose to the mixture I have. Suck a bit of that out there because I want some of it in here. Remember that, you can always suck bits out if you think you put too much on. You don't have to go back to the palette. That's dried off nicely enough for me to just be able to pull some of this colour out into that highlighted area. And likewise a bit there and just rinsed my brush off dried it off and I'm just gonna soften those a little bit they're not too defined can you see that there that highlight and then you sort of got these because you've got these ripples which are course causing kinks which will change the the density of the color but we can deal with that a little more in due course that's still too dark in comparison to, and in fact I've just noticed I've, I haven't followed the, the outline properly. That's better. Right, that's looking super so far. I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to just dry off a little bit before I come back to the next stage. Right, that is still drying off, but I just want to um, address a colour situation, a variation in these central petals. I mentioned to you that sometimes they can be a little bit yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking some Naples yellow, mixing it with that pink I've got, and just giving it a little hint of a different colour. And I think it'll work quite well when we get the rest of the intensity on. I'm going into the base of the petals, leaving those tips fairly white. Just gives us a bit of variation here. I 
and of course it also helps you with with separating these little petals from everything else that's going on. some interesting markings going on there. I'm going to just leave them because I think they're rather nice. don't want this to be too too precise. I'm not feeling botanical today. Won't go that detailed. Right, I've just rinsed my brush, taken the most of the moisture off it just so I can soften these off because I will go back in with a much darker pink to show the shadows. Right, we'll let that dry off for a moment. Right, that's dried off a little bit more, so I'm going to go in with um, some more pink. And I'm going to start up here and go a bit darker into some shaping. I needed that to dry out a little bit because I want this to be a little bit controlled, trying to get some shape into these leaves. Just rinsed my brush off and dried it so that I can Soften this out a little bit. Okay, and need to just make a bit more shape and coming round here and keeping my volume up. I hope I know some people say I, I start to fade a bit towards the end or as I get uh, get engrossed. Letting a lot of marks just happen on their own, that's okay. Just trying to make a little bit of, of shape in it. And of course when we do the background that will make a big difference as well. completely. That sort of comes out in that direction. Darker in here. Let the brush do the work. Most of the pigments in the tip so draw it out gently that way. Get some of these frills. Okay, now down here I want to get a bit of dark at the bottom to show where we've got some shadow. making sure I'm keeping the tips white. Soften it off a little bit. Okay, let that just dry a 
little bit. Coming round to this petal that's underneath this other one. And more darker pink on this one. And just soften it out a little bit. There's a darker patch up here. It's starting to get some nice shapes in this now. And a darker patch here. And darker under there as well. Just soften that. I like some of these accidental watermarks. I think they're rather, rather nice. Because it's a very, um, the petals are a bit like crepe paper, if you know what I mean, like crepe paper. Like poppy petals, they're very sort of um, crinkly and quite thin. Okay, I'm just going to take some stronger opera pink, neat, just to drop it in there. Not a much darker. And here as well. Still fairly damp there, look, so you're going to get some nice, nice movement. And you can just define by pushing it into some of these petal shapes in the centre. Rinse the brush off slightly, dry it off slightly, and just slightly soften some of these patches out. Right, I'm going to let that just dry off a little bit, get a bit. Um, so I can work on it a little bit more in a slightly more controlled way. Right, I'm going to go back into some detail in the centre. I'm still using this number six brush because I don't know if you can see it, there's quite a lovely little point on the end, a little curl point. So what I'm going to do, I've mixed some more of the pink into what I already had to get a stronger colour with a little bit of the Naples yellow, just so we've got that little change. And I'm going into the base of these petals just to show a little bit more definition and some shadow. So just gradually finding my way, not quite sure where they are now, so we'll probably make this up as we go along. But that's okay too. Don't get hung up on things being exact. What we want to do is create a beautiful, pretty, idea of a peony 
that will give you pleasure. And remember, the pleasure is in the doing. Seem to have lost the plot in that middle there, but I'm just putting this in and then I'm going to soften it out a little bit. So I don't want it to be too wet there. I want to get it sort of shapes. Okay, rinse the brush off. Dry it off a bit on the tissue and let's just bring that out a bit. Oh, it's dry quite quickly. So just softening it, it out. Okay, now I'm going straight for the neat opera rose and I'm just going to go in and here a bit, get some shadow. Also gives me the chance to get a bit more shape back in there. Seems to have lost its shape a little bit. Want to give the idea of those petals curling round. And set off a bit and just soften it out a little bit. define that I'd lost the shape a little bit so of course that's that petal underneath and just adding a little bit of detail here and there just to get a bit more shape Just picking up a bit of that, the yellowy pigment that I'd used, the yellowy pink, just to intensify a bit more colour there. Just separate those off a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to just take the teensiest bit of the dreaded Payne's grey and just drop literally a little spot or two just to give some definition to these darker areas. I'm giving you a slight purpley feel. There we go. Right, let's put a background in. Oops. 
I'm going to go for some indigo. And I'm going to go in and leave in places a white edge. And that is because if you look, I will show you the photograph. And also if you're looking at the flower itself, there is a sort of a white edge. And working fairly quickly because I just want this to go around. Could use a bigger brush, but I'm in flow now, so we won't change horses midstream. I am going to go bright around the top. Nothing to stop you from turning your board round, it's just a bit awkward for me to do that while I'm filming. And this will make the peony stand out even more. Let's get some water on here. Should have done that first, shouldn't I? Would have made it easier. Just letting it be a nice, I suppose we could have a stem as well at some point. Just wetting round here and then I'm going to go for, oops, lemon yellow. So we're going to end up with a nice lime green. And just it's up here. I want to continue around here a little bit because I want to get some splits in some of these petals. Oh, look at that colour go! Beautiful. Oh. even imply a leaf a stem in a very vague sort of way Now, do I continue? I think I'm going to have to just to give that peony a real standout quality. Don't like that. And there it is. Let's call that a day. This was the photograph, that's that one, and here's one I did earlier with pencil marks. So there you go, two peony ideas for you to have a play with. I hope you enjoyed that demo anyway. Thank you.